Welcome to a lesson on deductive reasoning. Logic is the study of reasoning and deductive reasoning, also known as deduction, is when you make conclusions based upon facts that support the conclusion without question. So for example, if your instructor tells you if you score 92 percent or higher on the final, your semester grade will be an A. Well, if you score 95 percent on the final, what can you conclude? Well, from the given statement, you can conclude that your semester grade will be an A. And this would be a form of deductive reasoning because it's based upon the given statement or facts that you know to be true. This type of reasoning is also called law of detachment or modus ponens, which states that if we have an if-then statement, if P then Q, which we know to be true, if we're given P is true, we can conclude Q. And using notation, it would look like this. If P then Q is true, given P, therefore Q. This symbol here means therefore. Now, you have to be a little bit careful about this. Here's another conditional statement. The two angles of a right triangle are complementary. So if we know that to be true, if we're given that angle A and angle B are complementary, can we draw a conclusion? If we wanted to write this as an if-then statement in the form of if P then Q, P would, be, P would be that we have two acute angles of a right triangle and Q would be that the angles are complementary. Notice how that we're given A and B are complementary, so we're actually given Q. So what we're considering here is if we know P then Q is true, can we conclude something knowing that Q is true? If we made the conclusion that angle A and angle B are the acute angles of a right triangle, this would be a false conclusion because it is possible for A and B to be complementary but not B, the two acute angles of a right triangle. And here's an example. Let's say angle A is 40 degrees and angle B is 50 degrees. They are complementary but they are not the acute angles of a right triangle. So using the notation here, if we try to conclude if P then Q, given Q therefore P, this would be a mistake and an error. This is called the converse error. The law of contrapositive or modus tonens says if P then Q is true, given not Q, we can conclude not P. Again, using notation, we have if P then Q is true, not Q, therefore not P. And this is a valid form of deductive reasoning. And here's an example. If a student goes on the spring break trip, then he or she must have a valid passport. If we know this to be true, and then we're given that the student Manuel does not have a valid passport, we can logically deduce that Manuel will not go on the spring break trip. So this is a valid form of deductive reasoning. Let's go and take a look at one more method of deductive reasoning. And it's called the law of syllogism. And it states that if P then Q is true, and if Q then R is true, we can conclude that if P then R. And we can express the same using this notation here. If P then Q, if Q then R, therefore if P then R. And here's an example. If Sue wakes up early, then she will go hiking. If Sue goes hiking, then she will go out for breakfast. So if we're given that she wakes up early, we know she'll go hiking, and we also know if she goes hiking, she'll go out to breakfast. So we can conclude that if she wakes up early, she will go out for breakfast. And again, this is a valid form of deductive reasoning using the law of syllogism. And I think we'll go ahead and stop here for this video. I hope you found this helpful.